we're still in Colossians chapter 4, and uh, let me ask you a question. Who has helped you grow in your faith in Jesus? Who has been an encourager to you as you serve Jesus? See, the Apostle Paul names some fellow workers in this passage. Uh, it's going to be a lot of names and, and just uh, gratitude expressed, but listen to what he says. In verse 10, he says, Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you. And Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you have received instructions, if he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, these are the only men of the circumcision among my fellow workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Um, so who are your fellow workers? Who are those in your faith journey that have encouraged you, strengthened you, comforted you? See, if you ask me that question, I would tell you about uh, a man named Bob Rich, who was my pastor when I was in high school, and uh, he, he was just a, a guy who modeled what it was to lead a godly family, and he was a good preacher and taught me a lot about following Jesus. Or I would tell you about Danny Kirkendall, who was our student pastor when I was in college, and uh, he was actually in Meralda and Mai's wedding. And, and so he's still a good friend and he was a mentor and he took me under his wing and he taught me about ministry and allowed me to serve as his assistant. Uh, of course, I wasn't paid, but uh, in a volunteer capacity, I learned how to do youth ministry. And then I could tell you about Pete Lumpkins. Uh, Pete was our pastor in seminary. I served on his staff as his student pastor. And he was a friend, a mentor, and a theological foil we used to argue theology, and it was in a time when I was surrounded by people who were preaching doubt, and he encouraged me to hold on to the authority of Scripture and to have faith. Uh, see, more importantly than just mentioning those men, I've had the opportunity to express my gratitude to each one of them for the way they poured into my life. Uh, they, they were just leaders, mentors for a season, but they shaped my life for the kingdom of God, and I wanted to say thank you to them and to God for them for being in my life. So here's the challenge. Refuse to be silent. Communicate with those people who God has used to speak into your life, to encourage your life, uh, to be fellow workers with you on the journey uh, so that you can just express to them the appreciation, the gratitude to God for their part in your life. Uh, and, and let me just say this, because I know some of you watching this will have this impulse. If I've been an encourager to you on your spiritual journey, I thank God for that, and I thank you for the privilege and honor that it is to be a shepherd to you. Uh, I don't take that lightly. I know I'm not worthy to represent Christ to anybody, but he's allowed me to do that. So uh, I'm grateful for that opportunity. So uh, if you feel like you need to say something to me, that's fine. I don't need that because I'm just appreciative of the, the reality that, that it's a privilege to serve the living God, but uh, I consider it a joy and a blessing if I have. So thank you, Calvary, for being faithful encouragers to me. Thank you for being fellow workers on this journey because God is using us to make a difference in the communities that he has allowed us to serve him in. And I am grateful that we get to serve the King of Kings and Lord of Lords together. So I hope that encourages you today on your journey following Jesus. God bless.